please, please, quick now. The man is wielding a knife. Um, he's so, threatened me. He's, where he's, are he's you? killed. He's, he's killed David Amos at Belfast Methodist Church. The call to the emergency services broke up the calm of what had been a relatively quiet day for Essex police. See, he's always still wielding the knife. See how, can you see how big the knife is? Yes, it's, um, it's, a, it's a carving knife, a big kitchen carving knife. You can hear the terror and the desperation. He wants to get shot, apparently. He wants to be a hero. He wants the police to come and shoot him. It was made moments after the MP for South End West, Sir David Amos, had been stabbed multiple times. The attacker, 26-year-old Ali Harby Ali, was caught at the scene with knife in hand. And the trial, in which remarkably he'd pleaded not guilty, has been a harrowing time for friends and family of the murdered MP. It's been awful and, and, and really brought home how awful it was and how, how distressing it was whilst it is irreconcilable what has happened and makes me angry that we are in the position where we are now, I think actually... That he's able to, he he's was able able to, to plead that. not guilty. Yes, I think actually, um, as, as wrong as that might appear, um, it is the country and the rules that we live in and the values that we have. Ali Harbi Ali's movements on the day were picked up on CCTV as he travelled from London to Leon C. He's seen carrying a backpack which contained the murder weapon, a large knife he'd bought five years earlier. Described as a fanatical terrorist, the attack had been years in the planning. He decided to kill the MP because of his voting record, which included airstrikes on Syria. David Amos was holding a surgery here. Now, Ali Harbi Ali had managed to get an appointment by posing as a constituent. It took place at midday. There wasn't any security, and it's unlikely the MP would have thought that much was wrong until moments before the attack. He was stabbed 21 times. He also had injuries to his hands where he tried to defend himself. And this was the moment the police arrived on the scene. We need the taser unit here. We're TA. They say he's got a knife and he's just stabbed off. In the body cam footage, the two officers unarmed except for batons and spray, are told the MP had been attacked many times. They then move in and take him down. Get it down! We got him, we got him, we got him. Right, search him. What's gone through their mind is just racing. Uh, and to take that step then to open that door and commit in, inside that premises, I think it's an astounding act of bravery. Witnesses described Ali as having a look of smugness and self-satisfaction after the attack, as though he'd achieved something. Police officers spent the following days searching and gathering evidence from three properties in London. It's known Ali had been referred to the counter-terrorist scheme Prevent in the past, but he was not being monitored by MI5. He didn't have a gun, he didn't make a bomb, he didn't do any of the things that might trigger a sort of law enforcement uh, response or, or, or raise a red flag. So in that sense, this kind of low-tech attack is very hard for the authorities to monitor. In a series of police interviews, he admits murder and preparing acts of terror. Mr Ali, is this a terrorist attack? I mean, I guess, yeah, I killed an MP and I've done it. Yeah. Okay. He'd researched several political targets, including the ministers Michael Gove and Dominic Raab, and the Labour leader, Sakir Starmer. He'd also tried to travel to Syria to join the Islamic State, but had given up because it was too difficult to get there. I'll be honest with you, there's been a lot of times where I've gone out in my head with the plan to do something, and then I would come back home. Hmm. So, you know, because, you know... What's the word I'm looking for? I bottled it. During a rapid investigation and charging process, it became clear to us that in order to give the full picture to the jury and indeed to the public, it was necessary to go back a couple of years to show this individual's thought process and the planning that he went through so that now he will be sentenced for the true extent of his crimes. At the centre of all this was, of course, Sir David Amos, a hugely popular MP 
he was known as Mr Southend. Sir David's legacy is compassion and it is kindness and it is an example for all MPs about what a good constituency MP should be. Somebody who cares for every constituent, every single person in his community. The murder of David Amos has once again raised important and searching questions about how best to protect politicians and public officials in an open democracy. Many of them still remain unanswered. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Leon Seed.